They can more or less feel it now, avoid defeat here, and they will take that eagerly awaited place in the knockout stage. The odds overwhelmingly in their favour. Everybody is expectant here, the crowd is up, they think the job is just about done. Indeed, in fact, it is. One more point does it, just one. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. A moment of great pride, the anthems. Italy looking to finish the job here and to do so with appropriate style, Jim. Well, when you consider, Peter, how hard they've worked to be on the threshold of the next phase, they ought to be thoroughly focused and determined to, to wrap it up now. If their attitude and application remains as it's been through the group, then they should be fine. But if they suffer a moment's hesitation or doubt, as we've seen in the past, it could prove very costly. And it's Ferrati. He's in! Has a hit! He's got away with one there. You lucky boy, you lucky, lucky boy. Giving the ball away like that is usually punished. A spectacular effort! A real chance and a real let-off. Marco Verratti. He gets past his man. In towards towering header! Well, to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Wales can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Walk forward. How does he try from here? Jorginho! And in again. Big relief. It just needed better contact. And it's Jorginho. He's played him through. It's got through. He's had a go. Oh, he did the hard part right, but loved the finish. Immobile certainly did his part with a lovely pass. And unfortunately, the loveliness ceased there. And time is up. Well, they could only manage a draw, but that will do. They have made it to the next stage. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Well, not as smooth as they would have preferred, but they're through, and that's the bit that matters most.